graphic nature of what you're about to see. Goodbye, Superman. Hello, power. They have to be stopped. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rennie Cowan on behalf of Superman Super Sight. How are you? I'm good. Do you want me to look at the camera or you want me to show sure. you? Um, so, so who are you who are you with? I'm Rennie Cowan on behalf of Superman Super Sight. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? All right, pretty good. Um, so tell me about this power that Manchester Black has, the stroke power. Can you tell us a little bit about that? The stroke power? Well, basically he's got telekinetic telepathic powers. Well, you thought I was going to mess that one up, didn't you? Stroke power? What the hell? Um, he's just able to probe into someone's mind, like I'm doing to you right now. Ooh. Find a piece of that mind and right. alter it to whatever he wants. So, that's basically it. It's telepathic powers to control objects. Not, not only control people, but also control objects. It's pretty cool. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm kind working on my own powers. It's a good villain power. Yeah, it is a good villain power. <laughs> you said you're working on your own powers? Yeah, I'm working on my own. I'm working on them right now. My <laughs> telepathic powers, so you'll ask it. the questions that I want you to ask. I can feel it. My brain is tingling right now. Yeah. Uh, okay, so as the leader of the elite, as Manchester Black, yeah. do you I love, feel... I love it when you say that, you know, the leader of the elite. That's right. Manchester you are. Yeah. I, mean, I am. I know, you can't get any better than that, right? You can't. So do you think you are good enough to beat Superman in this movie I as Manchester I Black? I think I Is am. Is he tough enough? Now, we know Superman sometimes, most of the time, comes out ahead. But, yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident at this point. That's great. That's great. Okay, and um, you worked on Star Wars Clone Wars, didn't you? I did. I've, I've worked several characters. I've played... Um, Rush Clovis, uh, Costas, Costas. Um, got to put in false teeth for him. <laughs> and um, one of my favorites, uh, Sham Sindula. Interesting. Do you remember him? Um, yeah, I do actually. Okay. I do actually. So it's great to actually be talking to the to the voice actor. Yeah, it's a lot of fun working on Clone Wars. Yeah, you've done a lot of voiceover work. I have done a lot I've of work. looked through yeah. your list of credits. What's that? You've done a lot of voiceover work. I, I, you know, I'm lucky to work a lot in the business. I do. Yeah, and on video games as well. Video I noticed. Games, on camera. What's voiceover. it like springboarding uh, or springboarding from video games to um, animated movies? Springboarding. So or doing both out, well, simultaneously. Is it? I think you know one of the major differences with anime, animated series is that all of the cast members are actually in the room recording together. And um, with, with video games all the time, you're alone, you're using your imagination a lot, you've got no one to talk to. Um, but uh, overall, they're both you know, a lot of fun to work on. I mean, it's a lot worse ways to uh, make a paycheck. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, and video games are fun. It seems like there's always a lot of work, too, in video games. There is a lot of work, especially these days. There's a lot of games out there, isn't there? There are. Yeah. <laughs> Continuously. Yeah. Do you have um, any favorites? You know, I like the LucasArts games. I like the Star Wars games. Okay. And, of course, the DC games that come out are the DC games online. I think DC actually my first video game was um, a LucasArts game, Bounty Hunter. Really? That was a good game. I remember playing that. Yeah. And then Rogue kind Squadron. Of school, but yeah, those were fun games. The Nintendo GameCube. Yeah. All right. Well, that's great. I'm glad another fan of the Star Wars oh, yeah. games. That's great. I, I, actually, I think one of the first <laughs> games I played was uh, um, X-Wing or which one was it? Probably Rebel Squadron. Was that Rebel the, Squadron? They came out with a whole bunch of them. Oh, yeah. That was a fun game. The graphics on that was amazing. Oh, yeah. When they came out. And then My so, computer screen, and you like got to be a voice on it. So yeah. I mean, I mean, not on that on one, Rogue but on Squadron, Star Wars. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, Rogue Squadron. That's great. Yeah. That's great. And then you got to play it. Have you ever tried playing yourself in the game? Yes. <laughs> did Pretty you, much did, always. Did, did, you, know, did you get killed? It's research, right? <laughs> I get to write off uh, buying the game, or you know, usually they send you out a copy. So yeah. yeah. 
That's great. Yeah. That must be really fun. Yeah, it's great. Love it. Um, so I'm going to ask you a question that might be a little away from Manchester Black, but I think it's an interesting question to ask the cast. Um, Lois and Superman are married in this film. Right. Um, do you think that a superhero, a big superhero like Superman, can be married and at the same time still serve the people of the world? What's your opinion on that? Well, I think, you know, as long as he takes time and washes a few dishes, you know, um, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I think, why not? <laughs> Superman should, should have a woman, should be able to, to marry. Yeah. That's great. So he can... That's part of the American way, right? To there you be go. married to have a gal. And, yeah. To have everything, right? That's right. Superman's got it all. That's great. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe Manchester's going to get him. Yeah, he might be the end of him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much. Thank you. On behalf of Superman Super Sight, nice meeting you. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you.